What is up, Bills fans, Bills Mafia, the Buffalo Bills Nation? I'm Thomas. This is the Buffalo Fanatics. You guys already know what it is. Today, I'm back with a brand new video. Episode one of my free agent player previews series. Let's get right into it. So before I start, let me just break down what this series is. It's going to be a five-part mini-series about free agent player previews. It is as simple as that, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss another episode. Also, if you guys haven't heard of it already, there is a Buffalo Fanatics Discord chat. It's a lot of fun. It's blowing up. It's popping right now. Literally anything Bills related, topics, discussion, it's a lot of fun. And click the link in the description, it'll take you guys there. Also, if you guys have Instagram, please don't be afraid to follow me at Elite Fanatic. I post there literally every single day on my story and it's a lot of fun, so go check me out. So kicking it off, if you guys haven't guessed already by the thumbnail, we're going to be breaking down Matt Paradis. The man, the myth, the legend, the guy that absolutely needs to get his butt to Buffalo. And we can definitely use him on our offensive line. Matt Paradis is 6 foot 3, 300 pounds, and he's 29 years old. He does, however, turn 30 in October. One of the best things about him is he was born in a very, very small town called Council, Idaho with a population of about 816, and that was recorded in 2000, so I'm sure it hasn't grown much since. Although he's played in Denver for his whole career, I'm sure he wouldn't want to go to places like Los Angeles, or Miami, or even New York, you know, big cities. He's a small town kid, went to Boise State, and I think that he would be perfect in Buffalo, and I think he'd like the atmosphere too. The blue collar, cold football town, I don't know, something tells me it's right up his alley. He's considered to be a great leader, a great locker room guy, and an overall great teammate, so I don't see why he wouldn't be received well by the fans, the community, and the Buffalo Bills themselves. Over his whole career, he's played in 57 games. Out of those 57 games, seven penalties. If you can bring anything to Buffalo, it is less offensive, stupid, holding, false start penalties. This guy is exactly what we need. He also won Super Bowl 50 with Denver, if you guys don't remember, against Carolina, and he helped Denver lift that Lombardi trophy. And here's the real kicker. In 2017, no sacks. No sacks. Uh-uh, baby. He didn't allow a single sack. Oh my gosh. Doesn't that get you excited? Whew. I want him. Unfortunately, he only played nine games in 2018 due to a broken fibula. If you don't know what that is, it's a broken leg. Now, the good news is he should be healthy by the come next season, and I'm hearing his progress is coming along great, and he's ahead of schedule. So if he was on the Bills, he would be able to fully participate and propel us into 2019. Now, when it comes down to the contract details, if I'm the Buffalo Bills, needing an offensive line, getting a guy like this is a no-brainer. And with the offensive line you had last season, plus the cap space you have this season, you got to make a move. So this guy, I would offer him a four to five year deal worth maybe around eight to ten million. It's pricey, I know, but he is the best offensive lineman in this entire free agency class. So he will be worth it, but he is expensive. Now you might have to outbid the Jets here because the Jets have a lot of cap space as well and they need some interior help on that offensive line. Now, why does this make sense? You know why it makes sense. The Bills offensive line was horrible last year, and we need a starting center that's just strong. And we need a guy who can run block, who can pass block. This is the move. This is the guy. This is the right decision. I don't know how many times I gotta say it to drill it into your head to let you guys know that Matt Paradis, he's our guy. We need to go after him. I don't care how much he costs. Let's get him. Just another beneficial thing that Matt Paradis comes with is the inevitable success of Josh Allen. You know, to get a veteran center who has been very, very solid as of late, paired with a young, developing quarterback, that's a match made in heaven right there for the young quarterback to help him out. I think with Paradis and a renovated offensive line, Josh Allen can really propel himself into 2019 and look to be one of the best young developing quarterbacks 
in 2019 and in the entire NFL. I'm pretty certain I've said all that I need to say, so I'm gonna get out of here. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a big thumbs up down below, comment your opinions, let me know exactly what you guys are thinking. I read every single comment, so don't be afraid to tell me what you guys think. Also, if you guys haven't done it already, please go subscribe down below. We are on fire. We are killing it here at the Buffalo Fanatics. Rico and I are putting out some bangers lately. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You will be doing yourself a favor. But with that being said, I will see you guys next time. God bless. Go Bills. And peace.